GIZ has been supporting policy reform processes in Africa on behalf of the German Federal Foreign Office since 2009. The program is currently implementing 11 country and region specific components. All the selected partner countries and regions exhibit signs of fragile statehood, although this is manifested in different ways. As the Gambia is not an exception, the German EU support to the Gambia police force is set to build a modern police station in Serekunda. Giving the opening remarks at the ceremony on Wednesday, the Regional Police Commissioner for Carnifing says they are happy to be part of the initiative. I'm delighted to be here today in this opening ceremony, call it the groundbreaking ceremony of Serakunda Police Station. Um, we know that Serakunda Police Station have been one of uh, the oldest police stations in the country. And uh, as the Alcalo have already highlighted, we are much happy today that uh, we are part of uh, this initiation to break it down and rebuild a standard police station and a modern one. On behalf of GIZ, the country component manager, Mario Pop says, their aim is to rehabilitate the police station to a standard one. Rehabilitate them in a way that they accord to minimum standards of best practices. But what should these minimum standards be? Which criteria do police stations in the Gambia need to fulfill? And how can we ensure that these buildings last for the next 50 years, or 70, as Akalo mentioned? All these points were discussed and agreed on in consultative meetings with the GPF, as well as with other international partners such as UNDP, UNICEF, and DCAF. There was agreement that model police stations should have holding cells for suspects in police custody that provide enough space so that they fulfill human rights standards. Women and men in police custody should be kept separate. Sanitary facilities should be uh, accessible. There should be a separate room for the child welfare unit. This is important so that survivors of gender-based violence and children can uh, feel safe and comfortable to report their cases. The European Union ambassador to the Gambia, His Excellency Crado Pampaloni, explains the reason why they choose the police. This project is called Joint German-EU Support to the Gambia Police Force, implemented by GIZ and is co-funded by the European Union. <laughs> Why the police was chosen? GPF and GIZ collectively agreed on the following outcomes areas. Enhance human resource management capacities, including gender equality. Facilitate dialogue between the police and civil society through community policing. Del Carlo said before that we are all safer because there is the police in Seracunda. Ensure an internal complaints mechanism, construction of up to four model police stations, training officers on mediation of sexual and gender-based violence, provide equipment to facilitate effective policemen, policing. On behalf of the Inspector General of Police, Deputy Inspector General of Police Momodu so says the project would provide the public with the service they deserve. I wish to project and provide and attest to this August gathering here that the process today that we are about to witness is a significant milestone in the history of the Gambia Police Force and the Gambia in particular. Notwithstanding, we are all aware that the Gambia Police Force is the beneficiary. And that is not a coincidence today by the Gambia being the police, Gambia police being the beneficiary. As history takes us back, the Gambia police force, if not, is one of the oldest institutions in this country, dating back to almost two centuries ago, nearly 200 years ago. So it is not a coincidence 
that it has to occupy one of the most aging infrastructure across the country. So that's not a coincidence at all. In that, as the police is insulated to oversee the continuation of society, it is imperative that the police and the society move side by side in order to meet the trying times of society. Since the re-establishment of democracy at the beginning of 2017, the EU has mobilized itself to assist the Gambia in reforming the national security sector from budget support allocated directly to the state of the Gambia to this project. This project referred to as joint German-EU support to the Gambia police force implemented by GIZ is co-funded by the European Union. Reporting for Kerfatu, I am Bubagajiba.